I would say it's Europe's leading music tech incubator. If we talk about innovation here over the years, we're, we're highlight, we've highlighted these incredible milestones. But what that doesn't take into account is that every day in this room, in these rooms, uh, in the amazing rooms, in, in, in you know within these walls, um, are amazing. Uh, world-leading engineers are, are pushing the boundaries and pushing the equipment to its limits every day. You know, inside this control room, inside that live room, you know, they, they will be stretching this gear to its limits uh, in, in a very kind of, I suppose, humble way that you might not see documented. A fantastic, incredible, rich, long story of innovation here at the studios. I think 87 plus-ish years now, um, which began with the studios themselves being completed in 1931 as the first ever purpose-built recording studios complex. So Abbey Road is an innovation in itself, um, which is a, a lovely fact to launch from. Uh, fast forward two years and Alan Dower Blumline patented stereo, and he used Abbey Road as a site for much of his um, experiments in, in the in, in, in researching stereo um, with a view to them patenting it. Uh, fast forward through um, a few decades and as we've looked at upstairs uh, the record engineering development department uh, released, uh, well made and released what is now looked at as the blueprint for the modern recording console, um, the red series of desks. So you've got the red 17, um, 37 and 51. Uh, and um, yeah, they were the first series of, uh, well, the blueprint for the modern recording console. And they would have been used on many, many classic recordings, uh, most of the Beatles' work um, and other artists here. I mean, let's, let's talk about the Incubator Red then, which takes its name from that legacy of the Record Engineering Development Department. We were looking back at the history of innovation here and thinking what can we do to help usher in the next set of universally adopted technologies into the music business. And at the time, um, the team was seeing sort of a lot of frustrated innovators. Abbey Road Red um, is an incubation programme for startups um, who are associated with the music side of the business. Um, to um, to get uh, advice and um, expertise from Abbey Road Studios and from the larger breadth of Universal Music. We've had about 14 businesses through our incubator now um, and they represent the best of British and actually probably European music technology that we're seeing. Having the contact with the mastering engineers, you know, some of the best recording engineers and the equipment here is a testing ground, ears to listen and then going through Universal as well. And so that's what we do. And we feel like, you know, one, helping these innovators um, in this space is kind of our contribution as well to helping them grow. And, you know, we, what we hope is that they will then have impact on the industry themselves. The, the next big thing, it's kind of happening anyway, or, and has been to, to a certain extent. Uh, for the last few years is, is artificial intelligence. When I say artificial intelligence, intelligence I, I, I'm keen to point out that, that that is augmentation of the recording process, using this technology to help the creative process, not replace the creative process, which um, just goes back to, to the way it's always been really. I mean, when I, when I mentioned tape machines came along, that, that enabled you to cut takes together, effectively cheating. No, it's not cheating, it's just augmentation. It's just making your life a bit easier so you can concentrate on what you want to be concentrating on, which is the, um, the performance or, or the writing, um, the, the artistry, really. Um, so you use technology to enable you to focus purely on that. Uh, and I think artificial intelligence will just take that to another level, and we're going to see a lot, lot more of that in the future. The strength of the legacy of innovation here, right? The, the fact that we have Bloomline, EMI, the original, um, you know, REWD department, um, all of the desks, everything that came out of here, and then the Beatles, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, you know, just, just to name a couple. Um, and I think all of that kind of ties into the, the beauty of Abbey Road.